Hello and welcome to the final video in this lockdown build that I've been doing. This is the Black Hawk from E-Wings and if you've been watching along you'll have seen me take it from a set of discrete foam pieces to how it looks right now. Now in here we have a flight controller running iNav with a GPS in it. Uh, we've got a little run cam too here at the front and with the battery that I've got in it, uh, the battery in here is a 4000 milliamp hour 4S pack. I can get the central gravity pretty spot on. Central gravity is quite forward near the wings. The only other couple of mods that I've done, obviously you've probably already spotted, there's some decals on it to make it look a bit funky at the top. And on the bottom, there's also some other decals. I've got my, uh, my pills underneath, and I've also got happy flying in circuit diagram. Uh, this is one of the problems, having lots of time on your hands and uh, a model that's uh, desperate for some flying. Don't know if you can also see, I've also laminated this part here just to protect it when it's landing to just stop, particularly at the moment, all the fields are really muddy. You're getting completely covered in blech. Uh, only the last thing that I've done is I have uh, made it so the wings are removable. I've kind of put servo connectors out here so that I can take the wings off for transport. I tend to do that with most of my models. And the only thing I've done, I've just cut a little recess in here for the cables to fold into and it's ready to go. Flying weight as it sits is a couple of grams over 1.4 kilograms so she's not a light bird at all. Uh, so let's go to the field and I'll show you how it went. Okay, it flies 46 miles an hour at half throttle. She's going to need some more nose up attitude. Ooh, that's nice. How's it looking? Looks good. Ooh, about that noise. Pulling about 9 amps. You lose a little bit of height. Oh, that looks so great. Could you read the happy flying underneath? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> That's not bad. That is not bad. It's fast, isn't it? Yeah, should we see what she does? Yeah, I still see it clearly. It's quite well lit up with the orange, isn't it? Yeah. Luckily, we've got the return to home arrow, so I know where we are. Right, ready for a blast. Here we go. Ready. Yeah, only about 71, 72. But I'm guessing that is because I've gone with a lower KV motor. I think it's a bigger KV motor, because I'm only going for 1,000. I think 12, 1,300 may have been a slightly better bet. I'm only running at about 9 amps though, uh, flying around, so I've only run 360 milliamps out of the pack, and she's a 4000 milliamp hour pack, so this is, I tell you what, this is lovely! Okay, coming around. It is so unbelievably stable. I'm not watching. Oh, that is nice. Okay, this is this is impressive. Um, I'm going to put it in. Um, I'm going to trim the servos now to straighten level flight. Okay, so that should be auto trim. I'll try it in manual mode. See what it does. In the background. Oh, gosh, it is 
Ja, 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 Yeah, surprisingly gentle on the amp draw. The ESC, I imagine, isn't even <laughs> isn't bombed up by now. What was the amp draw when you're on full uh, full power? That's a really good question. I'm not sure here. Well, 25. It's not bad at all. Bring it down a little bit. You can see it better. Mm -hmm. Look good. Looks very good. Yeah. I do love the way that these models look with the forward swept wing yeah. and the full nose. I do. There is part of me that wants to cut out some foam parts for the end of the wings and a little foam bulb for the front and make it look like the Romulan warbird. <laughs> I may be showing my geek a little bit too much here because this is full manual I'm flying now. Yeah, it's nice and smooth, isn't it? They, um, those orange winglets that you put on really help the orientation. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it really clearly. Awesome. Still haven't read the Happy Flying Under. Not quite yet, no. <laughs> Maybe I need to get my eyes tested. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I I think it is just I haven't done it big enough. Okay, back to waters. Do a little bit of um, fly a little bit lower. It's a beautiful scene up there. Hopefully the HD, the, the run cam is recording. Um, yeah, in the on-screen display there's something weird going on. It's telling me I'm at 443 feet. I couldn't guarantee I'm not right now. No. Probably about uh, 20 or 20. Yeah, very. What do you reckon? Yeah. You're, you're well below 100 feet, I'd say now, actually. I'm looking at this now. Yeah. Can we back towards the sun? The camera is working well. Cars on the road. We back away from there. Oh, this is just, this is beautiful. A roll. Yes, yeah, horrible <laughs> roll, but a roll. Actually, this is, yeah, I think it works. What yeah. do you reckon, Adam? Right, success. Success, now I've got to land it. Shall I try and land it right in the thistles? <laughs> I'm going to put it back into the horizon just for the support and I'll bring it into the field but I'll bring it into the, the, the long field yeah top. yeah let's try and drop some of the speed down just a little bit hot aim for the pheasant Yeah. Oh, she floats. Yeah. Shut that out. Oh, stall. There we go. Don't get it. She floats, but she stalls. She thinks she's going to come in and be completely. She happy. hits the wall. <laughs> and then she just, yeah, she just hits stall. Yeah. But that's fine. She needs to come in on power. Yeah. Completely unharmed. So there it is, that was the maiden flight. I hope uh, those of you that have watched along and kept me company over the past three or four weeks have enjoyed watching me put this together. Uh, I'll probably do a video in the coming week, or uh, probably around before Christmas time, hopefully, about um, how I make these kind of things. Just for those who are interested, um, you can kind of get lots of hobby grade vinyl cutters that are really good for A4 size and uh, all I did with this one was actually cut it in two pieces. Flying was one and Happy was one and they fit on A4 beautifully. So um, that's how it all goes. Again, if you're brand new to iNav, then this probably wasn't the series for you. There's iNav for beginners. Put a link down below. That'll take you through every single step. Uh, but hopefully you've got a much better idea of how I build something like this and particularly how it flew.
Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.